Welcome to the homework for lesson eight. This is module six of grade three. Get your name on here first, please, before you do anything else so you don't forget it and you get credit for your homework. Mrs. Leah's class uses what they learned about simple machines to build marshmallow launchers. They record the distances their marshmallows travel in the chart below. So here's all the different distances traveled in inches. Use the data to create a line plot below. All right, so for lesson seven, we had the line and the measurements drawn for us, and we just had to put in the X's and count. Right, but here we have to draw our line, and we have to figure out what how to label the line, and we have to put get all that stuff in there. So there's kind of a little more to do, but it's still basically counting everything so we're like what's our smallest measurement and what's our largest measurement and that's going to tell us what the range is that we're going to need for our line plot so let's see i see anything is there anything that's 50 i see a lot of numbers in the high 40s do i see any 50s i just this is the only 50 i see and i don't see anything more than 50 like 50 and a quarter or something like that so I only 50 is the largest and what's our smallest one going to be? I'm just looking at the whole numbers and trying to ignore the fractions. And I see lots of 48s and 49s. Let's see going down here all I see is 48s and 49s. Down here I see 48s and 49s. I don't see any 47s anywhere. All right. So it looks like 48. Do I see any just plain 48s? I do see one there. So 48 is our smallest because there's no 47 and three. There's no 47 anything. So 48 is our smallest and 50 is our largest. So our line plot is going to go from 48 to 50. And it looks like we need, we have quarters in here. So we need quarter, uh, quarter inch intervals. So starting at four, 48 and going to 50, here's our line plot. And notice I didn't draw it right at the bottom because I'm going to have to put some stuff underneath the line. Um, starting with going from 48 to 50. So here's 48. And there's 50. And we'll try to get this. We need a 49 mark, which is going to be right in the middle between 48 and 50, right? So right in the middle is 49. And now I can make, let's see, that's going to be 48 and a half. And this is going to be right in the middle is going to be 49 and a half. Now did they, in the chart, did they make those, like those halves, did they write, write them as halves or did they write them as two fourths? Oh, I see this one here and it's written as half instead of two fourths. So that's how I'm going to label my line plot. And then in between, I'm going to need quarter marks. So there, that's going to be in between each hole and each half is going to be, that's going to be 48 and one fourth. And over here is going to be 48 and three fourths. This is going to be 48, 49, sorry, 49 and one fourth. And right here is going to be 49 and three fourths so please i hope if you when you drew your line and if you haven't just looking at how i did it i you try to use the whole width of the page because you need a lot of room to fit in all these mixed numbers and then i need uh underneath the line i also need to say uh inches because i have to say what all these numbers are they're all inch measurements so they're in inches and I want to say what the X's are going to be. The X equals what? It's going to be, what are we measuring again? They are, each X is a launch, right? It, no, we're not measuring marshmallows. We're measuring the distance that the marshmallow traveled, right? So it'd be like a shot or a launch. X equals one marshmallow launch or just one launch 
right? Because these aren't measurements of marshmallows. They're measurements of how far they went when they were launched. So uh, now we mark the measurements in the chart on the line plot. But we need a title, right? We need a title. So the title, let's put it up high just in case one of these goes really, has a lot of launches. Uh, so we want distance traveled by what? Like distance travel doesn't really tell us what this is. Uh, how about marshmallow distance traveled? And you can see this is kind of a longer title. It's got a lot of letters. So you might want to start yours a little bit closer to the left edge of the page than I did to give yourself plenty of room. And now let's look at the chart. And you know how I, I uh, if you saw the last homework where I did this, I, you know, I like to do this a little bit differently than most. Um, most, I think most teachers that I've seen at least have suggest that you go by the measurements in the line plot. So like here's a 48 and you count how many 48s there are and you mark them off and you cross them off as you go to make sure you've counted them all. But that to me, that just, it seems like you make a lot more mistakes doing it that way. So what I like to do is I like to just go along the chart and mark an X at every time I read the chart. So I try to keep it organized as I go across each row and you'll see exactly how I do it 48 and 3 fourths that's gonna go right here there's an X 49 there's an X 49 and 1 fourth there's an X 50 there's an X so the thing is with all these fractions and with the mixed numbers that's where you tend to just misread a number and mark an X in the wrong place because they are just kind of like all especially at the end of the day when you're doing your homework these things all just look the same so it's really easy to misread one and mark it in the wrong place and this way you're looking at 49 and 3 fourths and it's easier to figure out where to put it 49 and a half because this way you're only looking at one frac one fraction at a time 49 and a half and you're always going to get interrupted somehow in the middle of this 48 and a fourth and this is just easier way to figure out where you sh where you left off when you after you get interrupted 49 and a half there 48 and three fourths there 49 there 49 and 1 fourth there 49 and 3 fourths there 48 49 and a, and a quarter 48 and a quarter it's over here now, now so when you do it this way too there's a little suspense isn't there you don't know which one's going to have the most you're kind of watching them as you go uh 40 oh where did i leave off the 40 i haven't done the 49 yet okay because i didn't cross that off 49 that one's got tied for the lead now 48 and three fourths 48 and three that's right here so there's a three-way tie for first place 49 Ooh, we have a leader 49 there's another one 48 and 3 fourths, 48 and 3 fourths, starting to catch up here, but the race is over. All right, so there's our line plot with the title. And explain the steps you took to create the line plot. So just, I mean, just list what we did. I drew the line. labeled the lowest and highest first
then oh, too many L's and labeled there. I fix that. Then labeled the rest. I added a title, a key, and units. That's good. I should say something about the X's. I I mark the measurements in the chart. with X's there how many more marshmallows traveled 48 and three quarter inches than 48 and one quarter inches so for 48 and that's so we have to figure out both of those so 48 and three quarter inches how many of those are there there are one, two, three, four of those. And then 48 and one quarter. There is two of those. So four minus two equals two. Two more. Let's start down here. traveled 48 and three fourths inches find the most frequent and you got to have this I mean why not it's so easy to just just write it down please gotta have it find the three most frequent measurements on the line plot what does this tell you about the distance that most of the marshmallows traveled Okay, so the three most frequent, that's the three that have the most X's. Which ones are those? So most of them have one or two, uh, but these guys here, and you don't have to circle them, but I will just to show you which ones I mean. Um, those are the three most frequent. Those all have more than two. So it's 48 and 3 fourths, 49 and 49 and 1 fourth. So... And three fourths, forty nine, forty nine and one fourth all have three or more launches. What does this tell you about the distance? that most of the marshmallows traveled. So let's just look at the shape of this line plot. It looks like a little bit like a mountain. I mean, you just imagine it. Sometimes it's all what you're doing is you're just looking at the shape of your graph. And I'm looking at it like this, like that. So most of them were around 49 inches. That's what it tells me. So you don't have to do that. Draw that big yellow marker line or make this big circle. Let me get rid of that. So I'd say most of them were around 49 inches.
Now I just figured out that uh, I just said most. So most marshmallows traveled around 49. Is that more than half? Because it has to be more than half to be most. So like, I want to make sure that what like it looks like mo it looks like most, but I don't know, is it really most? So most would have to be more than half of them, right? So let me count them. Uh, there's four here, four here, five here. That's nine, and three more is 12. And how is 12 more than half? Uh, so what do we have here? We got one, two, three, four rows of five. That's 20. Half of 20 is 10. 12 is more than that. So 12 can be most. 12 can be most. So I can say most. And keep that the way it is. Maybe you can find a better way to say it. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean you have to check that.